Hi guys, I'm Miss Fit Mum and today I wanted to talk to you about postpartum bladder control. Um, it's something that we don't really talk about a lot because I suppose a lot of people are embarrassed about the fact that they're weeing a bit. But um, I don't know if you know, but two out of three women will experience some issues with bladder control throughout their life. Um, obviously it increases with things like um, pregnancy, um, actually giving birth can cause issues, um, things like obesity and also as well just sort of getting older. 30% um, of women in between their 20s and 30s um, have bladder issues, it's 40% in women 40s and 50s and 60 plus you're looking at half of women are experiencing issues with bladder control there's not a lot of um support and resources out there it's uh, do your pelvic floor muscles and and that's about it really and a lot of women don't see it as a medical issue if they accidentally wee themselves once in a while um, or maybe too embarrassed to talk about it. So again, you know, people might not get the treatment sort of early enough or soon when it's an issue that, you know, could be solved a lot easier than if they leave it. Um, but pelvic floor muscles for women are so important to maintain that strength in the area and it's something whenever I say pelvic floor muscles I'll start doing it um I've never had bladder issues where I would for no reason have um loss of bladder control but if I sneeze I have to do the cross leg technique um and I've seen other women do it too and also as well um, I went to take my children to a uh, trampolining, indoor trampolining activity and a friend said to me, take a sanitary towel. And I was like, why? Why would I take a sanitary towel? I'm not on my period. They went, trust me, take a sanitary towel. Um, and it soon became apparent that trampolining, uh, not something that I do very frequently, was um, something that wasn't um, great for my bladder control or I wasn't that good at trampolining with my bladder. Um, so I wanted to put a video out there just to tell people that, or tell ladies that you're not alone and it's very, very common. And if you do speak about it, you'll find that it is a very, very common issue. And obviously there's lots of products out there now um, to sort of manage the situation. So you have got things like um, more discreet sanitary towels and, um, like tenor ladies and things like that. But I can't stress enough how important pelvic floor muscle exercises are. Um, you can also get like these little electronic egg things as well now that remind you to do them. Um, but I think it's just another one of those gimmicks to make you spend money because it's hard enough to remember to do pelvic floor muscles, let alone put something in to remind you to do pelvic floor muscles. But I think if you can just put maybe a little alert on your phone um you know a couple of times a day just while you're cooking or while you're sitting down and also as well for ladies postpartum uh, two birds in one stone i have uploaded a exercise video for diastasis recti which is to help bring the muscles back together um your abdominal muscles back together post baby um now this also involves a lot of core and pelvic floor muscles because you have to engage all of that area in order to conduct the exercises so we all know the sort of clench exercise that you can do every couple of do it a couple of times a day um but to do like two birds in one stones to you know in increase the exercises that you're doing and uh, different variations to help strengthen that area. Do take a look at the diastasis recti video that I have done because it does combine as a pelvic floor um, muscle exercise as well. But just as this fit mum, I thought it was my duty to share with the world that I wee myself when I go on a trampoline just to um, support other women out there who might not feel as comfortable talking about it. Um, 
and just to let you know that you're not alone. But like I said, if you look in my videos, I think it's under my playlist of health and well-being. Uh, there is a video there dedicated to those exercises. I will continue to post more things up about diastasis recti, um, looking at bladder control, pelvic floor muscles, also um, doing lots of um, exercises generally, um, free for you on YouTube, um, as well as some low impact but high intensity videos as well. So any ladies that are introducing exercise back into their regime but they're not ready to go to full intensity, there is the option of doing those as well, as, uh, 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 along with lots of informative information as well on um, successful fat loss without using fad diets and um, sort of cutting out all the BS and giving you the raw facts of how to do it for yourself, how to manage um, whether you're postpartum or not, um, fat loss activity and um, giving you the, the right information, the right tools to do it for yourself rather than uh, paying for celebrity endorsed fad diets or pills or jabs even now. Um, yeah, we just want to cut through the industry that is selling all of this rubbish and putting a smoke screen between you and the truth of um, losing fat. So all on there, all on my YouTube, have a browse. Uh, please subscribe and also as well, there's a little bell. So if you click that, that will notify you as to when I upload anything new. Um, so you can check it out and you'll be the first to know.